Well, hey folks, I'm Josh. Welcome back to the shop. Today, I'm going to take a look at this knife. This is a Beavercraft wood carving knife, and I just picked this up off of uh, Amazon, and I think it was about $13. I needed a new bench knife, um, and so I thought, well, let's give these guys a shot. Uh, I've seen them all over, but I haven't actually used one yet, so I haven't even opened the package, so let's see what's going on. Outside just tells me that it's... Uh, says Beavercraft Cutting Knife and Whittling for Beginners. Some kind of website information there. Made in Ukraine. Wood carving knife. So. That's it. That's everything that was in the box. Nothing wrong with that. So the knife comes with a nice little, must be a little bit of rubber sheath on there to keep you from cutting yourself. The handles, they uh, they say their handles are made from ash. The shape and styling of the handle is pretty similar, pretty similar to a flex cut. So here's a flex cut handle. Here's the beaver craft handle. Pretty darn similar. The only immediate difference I notice is the beaver craft is flattened on the sides, obviously cut from a thinner board, whereas the flex cut is much more rounded. Um, it's actually, you know, there's no flat. This has got a lot more of a curve to it. Um, so if you're a really big fan of the flex cut handle, this is pretty similar. Uh, maybe just a little bit cheaper, but not by much. Um, so a little bit flatter on the sides. Maybe do a little bit of rounding. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then it's not, I don't know what flex put, cut puts on their handles, but they're like lacquered. There's a clearly a, a clear finish on here, uh, whereas these are um, linseed oil, which I prefer. I really like this. Uh, often I sand my flex cut handles to get rid of this plasticky feeling stuff um, and then just cover it in a little bit of walnut oil. But um, I, re I really like the feel of this linseed oil. So let's get the blade out here. Well, that looks pretty good. Now it says Beavercraft on there. And they claim their blades are made from a high carbon steel. It doesn't tell us what steel, but that looks like it's got a pretty good edge on it and a pretty good polish. Some little scratches, but not terrible. Um, nice long bevel. So let's let's see. I could actually measure that bevel just for the sake of measuring. Let's see if we can figure out what that angle is. This is a little cringy, but it'll be okay. Looks to be about a 22 degree bevel, right about there. Pretty darn close to that. Which I think that's a good angle. I, I think 22 is a good start. So, uh, in case you're curious, that's about a 22 degree um, bevel altogether there. And pretty good. I like the feel of that. Mounted in the handle. Um, it's actually there's space around that in there. I don't I don't know. I assume they maybe put a little bit of epoxy in there or something, but you wouldn't know that from looking. It looks like it's just pressed in almost. And the tang, I've seen the pictures, you can buy just blades from Beavercraft if you go on their website. It probably comes back to about here. So it's it's not coming out of there. But, you know, something you get if you pay for a more expensive knife, the flex cut equivalent of this is about 24-ish dollars, give or take, whereas this is about 13. So, um on the flex cut handles you can see they fill in around the edge of the blade which you know functionally does it make a difference I don't know probably not but it's noteworthy so let's give it a little bit of a test run uh, this is without you know obviously I just opened the package I've never looked at this it's not this is how it came in the mail no sharpening no stropping no nothing uh, this is a just a really small piece of scrap basswood I'll give it a a little test cut here. Cuts nice. Mm. 
nice smooth cut on there. This is uh, just a piece of uh, pine, I think. I'm not sure. Pine or Douglas fir, one of the two, about the same. Not a real common carving wood, but some people carve in that. But I think it does a nice job of showing us if we have a dull edge at all. Because if you have a dull edge and you're cutting in pine, you get a lot of tear out. Um, same with the basswood. But that takes... That looks good. I don't see any um, any issues with that. Peels right off of there. So that's got a good edge on it. Now something a little harder. This is a piece of cherry. We'll see how it cuts in a piece of cherry. just fine and yeah, that works well this is nice it's comfortable in the hand the bl the handle is probably not quite as nice in the hand as a flex cut handle but not not a big difference not ten dollars different and uh, you could always reshape this a little bit if you wanted and then throw a little oil on it and it would probably look exactly the same um, so yeah no complaints pretty big fan nice little knife totally usable out of the box and probably with a little bit of stropping, we could polish up that even more and make it look even better. And it would probably cut even just a little bit better. But, no complaints for me. Pretty darn good carving knife for, I think it was 13 bucks, not even. You could do a lot with that. So anyway, if you're looking for a decent bench knife, I think that's a good choice. So anyway... Thanks for watching. Have a good one.